What's up, YouTube? Um, this message is primary. Well, this message is for men. I'll just put it to not primarily. This is for men. So let's talk about self improvement. This is part of the motivation part of my channel. And when you come, when it comes to self improvement, when it comes to working out, when it comes to investing into your mind and helping you think a different way, there's nobody going to help you. You're it. There's nobody coming. There's nobody gonna, you know, care about your life more than you do. So if you don't have the initiative, if you don't take the initiative, if you don't pay the price and invest invest in yourself, no one no one else will. So I just want to encourage you today that if you're struggling and if you're feeling discouraged, you just don't have the motivation to invest in yourself, you gotta ask yourself, what are you worth? You know, what's holding you back? And what are the what are the, the, the fetist type of attitude and mental blocks that you have in your mind that stop you? And it, and, and it breaks down, it goes down in the subconscious, it goes down in the childhood. Let me just suggest something for you today. Let me just suggest a really good book. It's called Never Get Angry Again. Okay? And I'll say it again. Never Get Angry Again. That is the title of the book. Okay? And it's on Audible. It's made by one guy. I don't really remember the author's name. But he wrote two books. He's a Jewish man. Very good. Very excellent book. And basically talks about your habits and your routines and why you do things the the, the way you do, why you think the way you think. And you have to ask yourself, everybody has to do self-reflection, right? But if you constantly improve, you're constantly in trying to get the better version of yourself, you live a full life. You live a fulfilled life. And one of the things that he said in the book, and I'm going to be doing a book review on that one and also another one uh, that I'm that I'm almost finished with. The one that I'm working on that I'm, I'm almost finished with, it, it, it's like a self-improvement book, but it's with deals with NFL and football stars and NBA stars. And look, I'm not, I couldn't care less about a, some millionaire athlete. Couldn't care less. You know, I mean, how is that helping me? This, this, this channel is for the people that are normal and want to be abnormal, okay? And want to be above average, want to be the best of the best. So, men, I'm telling you, you got to go ahead and commit to excellence. You got to commit to being the best version of yourself. So, let me just ask you this question. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best version of yourself, 1 being the, the least version, which number are you? How would you rate yourself on that 1 to 10? You know, I put myself, I mean, I'll start that, I'll start it with me. I'll put myself probably about a seven, you know, because I'm not an I'm not an eight, I'm not a nine because I haven't run a marathon and I haven't really gotten to where I want to be physically. And I don't really read books every day. I listen to audible books, but you know, there's several reasons why as I think I should be, be I should be doing better. I should be working on myself better. You are your own critique. I can I can critique you. Nobody else can. Only you can. So that's the thing. I just want to um, uh, encourage you just to be aware of what you think. Be aware of what you're doing. Be aware of your habits. And remember that heaven rewards the diligent. I'll say it again. Heaven rewards the diligent. You have to be diligently pursuing your life goal to excellence. Okay? Now, here comes the second part. Let's talk about dating. Okay, dating in America, because I happen to be in America for the present time, that's going to change. That's going to change real soon in, in December. However, you're in America, you meet a beautiful woman. Here, the Western women have a very, very uh, independent, masculine type personality. And you have to be aware of that. And in order to be the best version of yourself, you have to, number one, realize that the girl that you meet, any woman that you meet, she's one 
of a million. She's one of a million. She's not one in a million. She's one of a million. She's easily replaceable. So you have to realize that you're the prize and you have to go ahead and have that kind of attitude. Let me tell you a story. Let's say, let's say this girl's name is, I know a guy, he met a girl, I'm gonna use fictitious names cause, cause to, to protect people's privacy. But I have a friend of mine who met somebody who's a, um, he's a multimillionaire, okay? Multi, multi-millionaire. He runs a, furni a furniture store. He met, the, he met this beautiful woman named Lisa. Now he was all infatuated with Lisa. First thing he does when he meets her, is he does something really romantic, plans a really romantic uh, uh, gift for her and gives her the gift, very expensive gift. Can't remember what it was. I think it was maybe like a, uh, you know, a, a telegram or something or, or flowers. I can't remember what he did, what he did, but he spent, he spent quite, a, so it was over a thousand dollars he spent on this gift to give to her, you know? So that's how he, started the relationship of course he ended up dating her they started dating and, and everything and he spent a lot of money bought her a really nice engagement ring in the six figure uh price range engagement ring huge diamond and when i say six figure i'm talking about a hundred thousand dollars price range for this engagement ring so so with that being said this girl lisa was really really beautiful and she's a hard 10 and she has a lot of guys who are interested in her. So how do you think she treated this guy when she did nothing to deserve this? Okay, she did nothing to deserve it. He just did it because he was trying to woo her and trying to win her affection, trying to win her love, trying to buy her love. How do you think that she treated him? Okay, you think she treated him with respect? You think she, she treated him, she appreciated it? No, and I'm telling you, no woman's gonna, no one's gonna respond that way. Okay, they may initially, but at at the at deep down, they're gonna think subconsciously. They're gonna be like, "What is this guy? Doesn't he know that I'm not worth it? You know, he I've done nothing to deserve this, and yet he's doing all this for me. You know, and that's how women operate. They'll never, they will never, ever, ever tell you this to the to your face. They never will, but subconsciously they know. And, it, and they'll respond accordingly. Of course, this guy had problems. He had problems with this girl. Um, she, she, didn't, she did not respect him at all. And he was, he was always, you know, going after her and always sad because the way she treated him, she never appreciated it. And this guy, of course, you know, we all have our egos, right? And if you're a multi, multi-millionaire, okay, you're gonna have a big ego. It just comes. It just comes with the merit. Am, money just amplifies. It amplifies who you already are. It reveals who you already are. So, so this guy had a big ego, of course, and he, this woman was not submissive and treated him like crap. And and you know, uh, of course, it hurt. It hurt him. And he got got. He got got. You know. And I just want to encourage you today that don't get got. Don't get got. Realize that you are the prize. Realize you have to make a woman earn your commitment, okay? You can go ahead and have fun and date and you can do all that other stuff, but don't commit to her. Do not commit to her. Make sure that you spin plates. And anybody watching this right, any men watch, man watching this now, she should go ahead and look on YouTube for a guy named, by the name of Donovan Sharp, okay? Donovan Sharp is awesome. He's got great information, great content out there. Um, there's another program called The Better Bachelor. I listen to I listen to these guys. They have webinars. They offer self-help stuff. You know, there's there's so much information out there. What's your excuse to not getting better? Fill your mind with good things. Fill your thoughts with good things, with positive things. Okay. I don't have my uh, my camera with me because I had just I just gotten some new stuff. I have I've gotten a brand new. Uh, carpet that I put in so a lot of my my stuff has been misplaced I gotta find it so this is the raw footage this is the unedited version you'll have to excuse it it's not as good as what I normally have but I just want to tell you guys don't get got don't get let a woman take advantage of you realize that you are the prize and that she can replace 
at any time. She can replace, be replaced at any time. You don't have to go ahead and stay here in America. You can go to other places like Jamaica. If you like black women, you could go to Africa. You can go to, if you like white women, you could go to Sweden. You can go to Denmark. You can go to Russia. This, this is a, there's a whole world out there. There's six billion people out there in the world. You know, you don't have to go ahead and be in a situation with a negative environment. You choose your world. And remember, women, women, men, nobody cares about your struggles, guys. They don't care. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the excuses. They don't want to hear none of that. They just stand at the finish line and they pick the winner. And that's what they do. That's how they operate. They just stand on the finish line and they pick the winner. That's what women do. So you have to realize that you're the prize. You have to invest in yourself. And as you invest in yourself and as you become stronger and more self-confident and more, uh, you develop that, what the Chinese call that chi, that chi, what martial artists call that inner chi, that inner fire, that inner special sauce within something's going to happen. You become more attractive to them. Why? Because you don't care about whether or not they reject you. You don't care about what they think. You care about your purpose, your goals, and being the best version of yourself. Okay? I said it before and I said it again. Plan your pleasure because pain can't plan itself. Pain, I'm going to say it again. Plan your pleasure because pain plans itself. Invest in yourself Read, listen to audible books, read audible books. It's you're in your subconscious mind where you develop your world, okay? And don't be around anybody, anybody. I don't care who it is. I don't even care if it's family members that are gonna, don't be around anybody who's gonna disrespect you and, and treat you improperly. You don't wanna be around that negative energy. Why? Because subconsciously it brings you down. Okay, and very you have to be very aware of what happens in the sub and how powerful the subconscious mind is. That being said, I don't want to keep you guys too long. Thank you for listening. I hope you uh, not only just listen to what I say, but I hope you really implement to what I say. I hope you work on your purpose. If you're working on something, you have a goal. I want you to hold. Hold, hold me accountable to your goals. Write down on your comments below on what kind of goals you have, what you're planning on doing for 2021, short-term goals, long-term goals, and invest in yourself. There's, there's tons of programs out there, and you know I hope I can help someone. Guys, don't get got. Don't get got because the person you marry is one of the biggest decisions, and the person you get involved with is one of the biggest decisions you're ever going to make in your life. It can literally make or break you. It can literally make or break you. A lot of guys have committed suicide over a woman. One woman. I, I know people have, have they're, they're, they're gone over, over one woman. You know, so just realize that, man. You, you're worth more than that. All right? Take care. God bless. Thanks for watching.